Hello everyone, we will solve this problem today. So first of all, first step we need to focus. Just ignore everything around you and uh, hope that it will help you to solve this problem. Now let's describe this problem, this question. We have a ball figure diagram of the, uh, diagram of the uh, ball's trajectory also given. And at first look, if you pay attention, this is a motion in three dimension because position of this ball changing in all three directions. So basically, uh, at first look, it's like difficult question, it's called complex question. If you know how to solve motion in one dimension, if you know how to solve motion in two dimension, projectile motion, then uh, this this should not be problem for you. Yes, this is a motion in three dimension, but you can convert it, uh, or if you choose the right position, right position uh, to see or right angle to see this problem, uh, you will see that this is a motion in two dimension. So now uh, let's look to this problem. To this figure to this diagram perpendicular to the surface perpendicular to the surface of the inclined plane so basically uh, you need to watch this figure from this side so this is a uh, eyes so basically we need to watch it perpendicular to this surface so this is a inclined plane surface then let me redraw this diagram or let me redraw the trajectory of this ball again. If you look from the top above, top of the uh, uh, perpendicular to the inclined plane, surface of the inclined plane, you will see that this kind of figure. So basically this is the trajectory of the ball. As you see, this is a motion in two dimension. This initial angle, theta, uh, initial velocity also given v0 and uh, we need to find theta initial angle horizontal range horizontal displacement given yes let's call it x and this x equal to 2.5 meters what else we have initial velocity given 3 meter per second and we need to find initial angle. But be careful. In uh, motion two dimension, usually the acceleration equal to gravity. Yes, acceleration uh, is due to gravity, equal to 10 approximately. But here, acceleration will be slightly different, slightly different. Now let's pay attention to this initial original figure and uh, let's try to figure out the direction of the uh, acceleration for this ball so gravity is actually vertical this is the direction of gravity and uh, this equal to g approximately 10 but we need this component Let's call it GX. Let's call it GY. Yes. And uh, this component, let's call it GZ. So, if you pay attention, this is a, this is a acceleration that we need. So basically, we need to replace gravity that we usually use to solve motion in two dimension or projectile motion with this gy so now let's come to let's come back to our uh, diagram so basically this will be gy and uh, for now we don't know the value for this gy so basically this is a vector uh, this is a vector and uh, angle of inclined plane is 20 degree so it means this part also will be 20 degree 
and the gy equal to g times sine 20 degree so this part is vector uh, components of vector so so uh, gy actually equal to g times sine theta that's all now this question this problem is totally uh, simple motion in two dimension now let's write equations for motion in two dimension we know that we know that uh, x horizontal range equal to horizontal range equal to initial velocity in x direction times time flight total time and what what was the total time total time equal to uh, 2 times v initial sine theta divided by g but in the, for this problem g will be gy gy so let's now let's now uh, see if we can solve this problem with just these two equations let's number it this is a, let it be first equation and the second equation and uh, of course third one is about gy and uh, we know what is gy g times sine 20 degree so let's see uh, x is let's highlight unknowns first first of all let's highlight unknowns from the first equation we have a theta unknown in second equation also theta unknown yes uh, and the time and the time unknown that's all gy basically it was unknown but we know its value we already describe it gy basically three unknowns and we have a three equations it means we can solve this problem we don't need any uh, extra additional equations three unknowns and uh, uh, three equations it means we can easily solve this problem so let's let's go so by combining equation number one and the number two basically let's substitute t from second equation into the first equation so we will have uh, this kind of equation x equal to v0 cosine theta times 2 v0 sine theta divided by g y g y so x equal to so basically basically uh, cosine times 2 times sine as you know equal to sine 2 theta so v square sine 2 theta divided by g y so from here from here uh, sine 2 theta equal to x times g y divided by v square and the g y equal to g times sine 20 divided by v0 square and the our final answer for theta so 2 theta equal to arc sine x times g times sine 20 divided by v0 square so we need to just uh, divide both sides by 2 in order to find theta so from here from here theta equal to uh, this part is just calculation we need to use calculator we need to use just calculator so uh, 
second function sine x times g x is 2.5 times g which is approximately 10 times uh, sine 20 times sine sine 20 and uh, divide by v square divided by b square velocity is 3 square will be 9 so as you see uh, 2 theta equal to 71.8 now we need to divide by 2 to find theta and uh, theta equal to 35.9 approximately approximately 35.9 degrees this is a uh, final answer for Teta.